What is going on, everybody? So we're back. It is SMB fuel tank time. On this 2011 F550, we don't really ever have this vantage point with having the bed go up. I'm gonna show you guys how to put your aft axle fuel tank in. That's hopefully rusted out. No more rust, S and, that's rust just falling on me now. SMB fuel tank going in. All right, everybody, thanks so much for coming back and checking us out. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Uh, the shovel finally fell down. Um, we're gonna put some safety measures in, but uh, yeah, here it is. This is the fuel tank we're gonna be replacing on this 2011 F550. She's pretty roached, um, and hopefully we can save some of the parts that we're gonna need. I didn't realize that was so rusty. I think we're gonna to have to get a new one of those because that s and tank ain't gonna like that. But we got some new straps, we got some new fasteners, um, kind of the same, same rugaroo that you gotta do to remove fuel tank. We have the, the filler neck, some lines, uh, which let's look at this one more time. Are these lines gonna be okay? Is the fuel pump going to be okay? Not the fuel pump, but the actual fuel sender. We might need some extra parts. I hope not. But let's get uh, let's get this thing. No, I guess we don't really have to get it in the air yet. Let's try to see if we can get these fuel lines off and uh, let's get a safety device. This is here. I don't know if I want to mess with all of this. Looks like it's all one piece. Let's see what I have here. I think I have a giant piece of wood. Here it is. Maybe we can prop this up. Maybe I should have moved my light out of the way. Light, come on. Light, lighting. I'll put this right here. Get this giant block. See if we can, maybe we'll put this over on the, maybe we'll put this over on the other side. See if we can pop this bad, la there we go, we'll go, kind of go like this. That way it's got to come down. There we go. Not my, not my most favorable things, but, uh, Damn, I hate Michigan. Look at the bottom side of that, guys. That's just awful. All right, well, let's get the lights set up here. Let's see if we can get these puppies off. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, let's pop this red tab off. Or out. Ooh, it came out. Okay, the button, there's the button. Maybe it needs a little help coming up. Maybe there's a little rock or something under there. Oh, come on, baby, I just saw it move. Oh, come on. This is for the fuel level. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, she got some dirt in there. Oof. All right, only two wires. Looks all right. Get that out of the way. Okay, these fuel lines are making me nervous. Oh, man. I'm gonna get my pliers. Let's put the light down here so you guys can see. I'm gonna do something like that. Once you pop that out, make sure it's loose. That's the, ooh, okay, the button's squeezed. Oh, wow, all right, that's exactly what I wanted it to do. All right, I'm gonna do, I know this is gonna be kind of silly, but I don't want to further 
destroy anything. I'm going to do something like this. Just keep that preserved as long as I can. I got another one right here. All right, same thing. I'm going to do pull that little yellow guy out. Or at least try to. Yeah, there we go. Make sure it's loose. All right. Squeeze that button. Okay, see so it's not. Oh, there we go. Ooh, come right off. All right, that's good, that's good. Let's see if we can shove. Let's see if we can stuff this one on. Stuff, they call me stuffy. All right, pop this off and then pop this line off. Okay, so now these lines are detached from the frame. I don't wanna take a bath when I'm underneath. Let me get a rag. Kinda of do something like this. I don't want them to flop over on you. Wrap them up. There we go. All right. I can dig that. That just looks... I'm sorry. Fucking awful. Damn, I hate Michigan. Ooh. Um, I don't know how we're going to bust that loose. I think we should probably try doing that now that it's in the truck, because I don't know if we're going to be able to hang on to that. Hopefully, hopefully, that comes loose. We need to... Oh. And when I was five, I threw up. Disgusting. Well, it's a fuck. It's a plow truck. What do you? What do you expect? Disgusting. Oof. I think what I want to try to do is maybe just bust it loose, and then take it the rest of the way. Um, with the tanks out. We only have a quarter tank in here. Oh man, it's like all one. We got a new ring coming. That's disgusting. Look at that. All right, well, I think that's, I think that should be a good, a good point to try to break it loose. So I have a special tool. Um, this is my fuel tank locking ring contraption. I don't know how we're gonna how we're gonna do this. I don't usually use extensions with this. Let's move the light. All right, let's find a place where we can get a good bite. No, maybe this is too long. Hold on. Redo. All right. Let's try it again. There we go. We didn't need to be that high. We had to come down in altitude, fellas. All right. That seems like a good bite. I can't imagine having to do this on the, on the ground. Let me come on the outside of the frame. Um, I'm watching my hand here. I don't want to hit nothing. I'm going right. I'll put my stomach right in the way I can punch myself in the gut. Ooh, I think I'm going to need that one too. Wow. Okay, I think we're gonna need uh, some bigger equipment. Cut. All right, we have some bigger, we got some bigger equipment. This is what I uh, purchased, uh, I think from, who did I get this from? Matco? Yeah, Matco. This is what I was doing 6.0 head bolts with. All right, here we go. This has put me way outside the frame. Crap, this thing's all one with the fuel tank. Damn. Wow. Wow. Well, I guess that I'm getting a new ring means nothing.
Oh my goodness. Hmm. Hmm. All right, there you go. Well, this isn't gasoline, so I'm not really worried about sparks. Let's see if I can do something with a hammer. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my goodness. That just made it worse. How about here? That's awful. That's awful. Hmm. Well. Well. I think I'm gonna make an executive decision and I am going to say we're gonna to have to leave this attached and the customer is gonna to have to get a new fuel sender. This is, uh, that's gonna be no bueno. Okay, well let me, um, let me see uh, if we can get one locally. I know we got a short day today, but uh, um, that's uh, probably gonna be a stopping point because they're not gonna have that in stock, I don't think, so. Definitely gonna have a redo. Uh, this is not, we're not going to be able to take that apart. So the customer has already went and got us a brand new, brand new sender right there. And that is going to go in this brand new aft axle SMB 40 gallon coming down. I think what we're going to do before we even take this turd out, let's check this thing out. SMB tanks are, are our favorite. They uh, have some really, really nice quality. Oh, there it is. Oh, I opened it upside down. Really nice. Get this little O-ring out. Flip this buddy. Use this as a little workstation. There we go. Man, way better than that steel tank. I see a little piece of cardboard, right? Did I get it? Oh, it's all the way, all the way. I feel like I would be at it right now. Where is it at? It ate my glove. Oh, I moved it. There it is. There we go, leaf. All right, so uh, S and B has. You all need the air. Yeah. Okay. Turn it off when you leave, then. Okay. I will. So, you Can good? I be on YouTube too? I'm fucking leaving that now, dude. I'm leaving that shit now. I'm sending you a link. Uh, should I leave it? Should I leave that in? All right. New, new seal. Let's check this bad lad out. These are gonna be specific to each vehicle, so make sure whoever looks this up is going to look it up by VIN. But check it out, there's the potentiometer right there. So that's empty, and as it goes up, the little foot, the little foot, if you can see, there's two little feet right, right, here see these two metal feet right there right down in there watch those two feet as it sweeps that is what gives the difference different resistance value and then that goes up this wire to the connector into that connector housing and through the harness and up to the instrument cluster so when you put it in you want to make sure, oh, I saved it. 
you want to make sure you're not going to be putting the fuel pump float into the side of the tank like this. That's not, that's not how you're supposed to do it. That's facing directly forward. It's supposed to be like that. See that arrow? That is where that tab is supposed to sit. So I'll sit this bad boy. It's on the ground right now. It's sitting on this rubber feet. We have to depress it into the groove. Got to kind of wiggle it over a little bit. It's got some rubber feet that it sits on. We got to get it right in the middle. Just like that. Okay, now you see we can't reuse that ring that is on the tank right now for how rusty it is. So if we have a new ring. This is not just Super Duties. It's a whole bunch of Ford vehicles. We're going to put this new ring on. What you got to kind of do is give the fuel pump or the fuel sender like CPR. You got to like push down on it and get... <laughs> get just the corners of each piece of metal locked in. Be careful, these are sharp. Okay, that's engaged, engaged, engaged. Good, 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 okay. OTC tool, yeah, I don't even know that number anymore. I'm gonna put that on. So if you're doing this by yourself, I don't think you're going to hold the tank like this. So what I have done in the past is because these are pretty much a square is I will set the tank down on this most flattest spot. Okay. Now I'll take a tool or you could use a hammer or whatever. I mean, using the right tool is always better. And now I am, I'm laying on the tank. I'm not bouncing around and I'm, I'm got myself, I got a good foundation. I'm pushing, I'm gonna push down and I'm gonna lock this into place. Boom, just like that. Now you could use, oh, you could use a hammer, but, when things like that happen, now we're gonna have to loosen it back up. That foot didn't get underneath. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna redo that. There we go. Good. No, see this one, this side popped out. See, they can be tricky. You gotta make sure you get them all engaged. Did I get it? Okay, let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's tap it just a tiny bit more. Okay, let's try that again. Trying again. Let's get it. I'll tighten. There we go. Now it doesn't look like a freaking frisbee. Give me my tool back. There we go. Let's check it now. Let's check it now. Yeah. Now it's not wavy. Okay. So this is pretty much prepped. We don't have to do anything with the rollover vent. Uh, S&B gives us the new one, but we have a couple of connections here. Looks like they uh, checked it at 25, 25 pounds and they put two pounds of air, pressure tested it for 2.5 minutes. A couple stats with your fuel tank. Don't ever throw those out, those are always good. All right, the next step, uh, also here, I guess we'll make a point to this. If you needed to drain your tank, no. If you pull this out, it's not gonna start draining. 
uh, you have to drill that hole out. So if you ever had an issue, you could, I guess, uh, drill it out. If you guys have watched the one video of we reinstalled the siphoning part on a 60 gallon, we had to do that same thing. It had one of these at the top, same, you know, concaved uh, port in there where we took a little coping uh, saw and I actually held this under the hole and collected all the plastic shavings so that when we um, threaded in that uh, steel rod, we weren't, you know, gonna be messing around because that, we don't need to just leave that open. So let's put this back up here. I think this was, I don't know, 19 maybe? Nope. Nope. Seven eighths. Just gonna give it a snug. Nope, it's not seven eighths. Just kidding. Okay, good. Well, I guess the next part in this debacle is disconnecting these lines you guys saw me disconnect once already. It is hot right now. Okay, I'm gonna go for the electrical connector just like we did the last time. Pop this out. Needs a little persuasion. We got it. Let's see if these are gonna come off with a hitch, without a hitch. Both of them coming right off. Let's pop these out. We got it, we got it. Let me get a rag. We're gonna be under here working and I don't wanna get juice down. All right, we'll kinda, we'll just do that. That's good. That looks official. All right. This is staying, except for that zippy. That's gotta go. This isn't a vantage point we usually see because we can have the the dump bed up. So if you guys ever wanted to know what this looks like, this would definitely be the time. How about we do this one too and get this up out of my way? No? Or how about we do this first? How about we leave this here then come over here, take these filler, these filler pipes loose, and then we'll move that wiring over. Got a couple eight millis. I'll take these eight millis loose. Ooh, this is nasty. Oh, splendid. Imagine that. All right, that's way loose. That's way loose. I brought some pliers, some Texas tweezers. Let's see if we can get it. I don't want to puncture the rubber. All right, I broke it loose. All right, let's see if I can break this one loose and pull them out as a as a uh, as a pair. Okay, got that too. Could I be so fortunate? There's one. Open this puppy back up. Things rusted. There we go. So imagine not having access like I do right now with not being able to get the bed out of the way. Nastiness out of the way. Fuel filler dislocated. Get this out of my way. All right, I think I think it would be time to go up. And I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about anything going up. I think I got a clear path with the dump. So let's go up.
Heck yeah. I think that's good. What's even better is I get to use the brand new transmission jack. So that's cool. Guess we're lifting this up today. Heck yeah. Let me uh let me loosen these up. Now we have a couple of 19s right here. I'm gonna spread the platform out a little bit. So now take this chain off. Try to make this platform as as big as we can. Spread that puppy like that. There we go. Now we can come underneath this baby with a wide ass, wide ass platform. I think we have 15s holding this up. They look gnarly. Well, you know what? Let me uh, get this stuff out of my hand. Let me move some. Let me move some cardboard because this is going to be nasty. Get this out the way. Let's put a let's put a floor liner down. Keep it sanitary. We don't want to have a sanitation issue. Okay. I like it. I like it. I think right there. That feels good. Okay, air time. Okay, here it goes. Hopefully I can stand out from underneath. There's a 15 right here. All right, that's good. I'll put that bolt right here. I'll just stay in the back. Let me do this one. Where's it at? Right there. Okay, could be nasty. Okay, all right, I like it. Put the bolt right there. All right, we have two more bolts and they're between the tank and the rear axle. So one's right here. Okay, that was kind of scary. And then the last one right here, another 15 right by the axle and the, I'm sorry, right by the exhaust. Poof, poof. Look at my arms. Poof, I hate Ross, dude. I'm so done with Michigan. You guys have no idea. Ugh. All right, so now that everything's disconnected, we have no bolts, we have no fuel lines, no fuel connector, and no filler pipe connections. This thing technically should come right down. Let's see. Okay, I feel like it wants to come towards me. So let me roll the tank towards the front of the vehicle. There we go. I feel like that's a little more secure. All right. I'm gonna have to go for. I'm gonna have to go forward. It looks like because my my tank arms might be 
hitting this back, this back brace, okay? Nice and easy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, just like the Kool-Aid, oh yeah. Check it out. Now, now, do we roll this puppy, we roll this puppy on over. See, this is where the cardboard kinda, kinda screws you. Look at that. Okay, so now we're gonna keep this. We gotta keep the base. We don't need the straps. What we will need is we will need to take them off. And let's see, they are very accessible. I can't remember if these are 19s or not. Let's turn it around so the folks at home can see. What do we have? Oof, she looking, she looking raunchy. Oof. Buzz, your girlfriend, woof. I don't know, that's, I guess maybe not a 19. Let's see what a, see what a 21 looks like. Mm, I'm thinking it's a 19, we just got a whole bunch of, whole bunch of frickin' rust. Maybe we need a little, maybe we need a little persuasion. have new nuts or do we just cut it do you guys want to see us use the death wheel yeah let me use the death wheel well let me see which way it's going to spark Death wheel, success. Uh, that was kind of hurting my arm. All right, so now that that is over with, I think we're coming to a stopping point, and that is getting this tank out. Now, I don't know how heavy this is gonna be. All I know is this is rusted to you know what. Gosh, Michigan sucks. Another, another tasty treat from the road. Oh, I know C-Dub's probably loving this right now. Think his truck looks like this? Hell no. Oh man. Oof, roached bro, freaking roached. Okay, so this is the kind of pain in the, 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 the dick part. I guess we could, uh, I mean, let's think smarter, not harder, right? All right, let's, let's put on, let's put on, uh, let's put on our forklift hat. Parking, We're backing up. All right, let's see if we can do a little uh, one-two punch, eh? Let's, uh... Eh, I would take a guess, maybe right there. All right, let's wheel the tank over here now. We'll slide it off of the jack onto the forklift. Do like a, a even, do an even data transfer. Ooh, I gotta go down. Oh, I am Batman. All right, going down. It was just a guess. Okay, I can dig that. So now, those should go right there. 
all right. I want this to slide right across. I should have left the cardboard on it. Damn. Whatever. It means it's getting used. All right. Off of the jack. Hallelujah. Out of the way. We want this thing out of the way. You know what we should do? Is let's let's set this on a pallet. Do we use that one? We could. We could. So now we'll put the tank onto this and now we can move it around at our own will because I don't want to be donkey dicking around with this thing. Okay. If you don't have a high low, this is probably going to suck. A forklift. Okay. She's stable. She's stable, but in good condition. All right. I don't really need anything out of this tank except for fuel. And I'm not worrying about fuel right now. So let me uh, back up a little bit. Let me go forward. Let me do that little one-two punch for you guys right there. So yeah, make sure you folks at home can check that out. We are certified forklift operator. YouTube certified. I think I'm gonna go ahead and set our dirty boy tank right over here. You're so bad. You're such a bad man. Dirty tank. Bad, bad man. Oh yeah, right there, bub. Bub rub and little sis. Woo woo! I had it on my car too. All right, we're gonna do a little, uh, my forks were hanging out the front. So we're gonna do a little, little pushy wushy. Go put this thing back where it was. Oh yeah, we're going to ring around the rosy back here. We'll ring around the, the rosy pocket full of posy. Put the turn signal on, it makes you go forward. Turn signal on, it makes you go forward? How awkward is that? All right, so working smarter, not harder. Let's, uh, let's turn all this off. Park brake, seat belt, gas check. We could have did that and it would have really sucked. I didn't want to lift it. I don't want to put you guys down and then you guys can't help me do it. So I guess really what we'll do, I'm going to save this for the next day. I'm going to get that old tank out of there. We had a DCR to do in the morning and I think we'll finish that tank up in the AM. See you tomorrow. Let me get this fuel tank out of the way. But today is the next day. We now need to get the tank out of its little, I don't know, cage, I guess, if you want to call it. There we go. See, see what we can do now. All right. So now that we are away, let me turn the fan so we're not getting too much wind noise here. But this is the crustiness we have to separate. She's loose. How much wiggle we got over here? How much wiggle we got over here? All right, we might be able to do it. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. I don't want to lift this thing, still got fuel in it. Okay. Let's get it set up. 
try to try to put it in there like that. Um, let's see, what am I gonna do? I guess let me go up some. All right, let's start with that. That's as far as it's gonna go. All right. All right, we're, go we're gonna, gonna try to keep this. Try to keep this like this. Okay, there we go, put that down. We got one corner here. All right. Let's see if we got. There we go. All right, now let's push the fuel tank onto the forklift. Yep. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. That's blissful. I think I'm going to utilize this cart I got from back alley. And because I'm going to have to move the fuel tank around, I'm going to see if I can do something like this. Okay, now I got to go up. Okay. See if I can put the fuel tank right on this. So now I'm gonna have to empty the fuel out of it. Look at that. Now I got my own fuel caddy. It sucks when you're having to lift these big things, but if you have enough tools to get this where you need, uh, it makes it so much better. Look how nasty this is. Gross. That's not glass, it's Michigan Road salt. This is a, uh, a salt truck, so. All right, we ran into a problem yesterday. Well, today, because I now realized what I had done. But unfortunately, when I cut these, I didn't realize that that didn't do me not a lick of good because I still have to get this out of this. So I guess, let me see if I can flip this upside down. If I can pound the socket down on, on that maybe. I wanna say I think they're in 19s. Definitely a 19. Definitely a 19. Could it really work? Let's see. I'm gonna get the air. I'm gonna come over here and get aired. I need. I need my three quarter. I mean my three eighths. And I'm gonna need a good pair size of vice grips. Let's see here. I don't want these little juicy boys. Here we go. Something with some some girth. See, maybe I'll get this side to do a little overhang. What if I do that? Let's see if I can get these, these grippers on here. If this would come off, this would be splendid. I might, I might have to heat them. He's a righteous dude. All right, well that's exactly how you want it to go.
let's repeat on the other side, eh? Shall we? Let's put her down. Downtown, Victor Brown. Tilt her back on its side. Oh! Grippers. <coughs> Gripping. I don't care about the hardware, but I care about the shield because I need that shield. So these all come with new, new tank straps. All right. Well, that that's exactly what I wanted to ha happen. What I wanted to have happen. Okay. Time for time for a new tank. Time for a new tank. New tank time. Clean tank. Super duper tank. This is so nice. SMB makes some really, really nice products. You pay for what you get. That's with everything nowadays, so. It's only gonna go in one way. This is the slant. There's the slant, there's the flat, there's the flat. I'm gonna set it down in here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's how these mother scratchers should have came from the factory like. New straps, times two. New bolts, times two. I'm sorry, not bolts, I'm a freaking idiot. Not bolts, you're freaking nuts. Can't even read, this nut, it says nut right on it. I'm the nut. All right, there's a T. The T goes in the little cage that we just broke out of jail, the fuel tank out of jail. It sits in there like that. And then our new nuts. Our new nutties. A new strappy. Pass me my strap fuel tank that is <laughs> okay you got new nuts not bolts right here coming at you coming at you all right we're gonna reef them down we got 19s not gonna have to pound a socket down on it here we go She's ready to go, boys. That is how you install your SMB into the container that your original steel tank came in. So now we're gonna do one of these guys. Trolley, trolley this right onto the high low. That's how it's going to sit in the truck. Let me do a little maneuvering, shall we? Let's transfer. We'll move this cardboard now that we're not dealing with that rusty, rusty calamari rank. Get this thing ready to go. Okay, I like it. Looks, looks righteous. Okay, safety first. Wallet, spectacles, testicles, and watch. We're good. Oh, it died. It died out. Did somebody shut the gas off? Oh, they did shut the gas off. Redo. Gotta have fuel. Oh, 
close are we, boys? Pretty close? Really close? Oh, we're really close. We'll do that fine, that fine tune, that fine tune. Okay, this should just slide right on. That's it. That's it. All right, let me go park my chariot. Well, this is, this is the moment of truth. Oh, gonna have to go down. Don't want to hit the spinner. Get it into, get it into orbit. All right. I like it. I'm standing clear. We are commencing. If you had an Aluma Duty, you'd have the same style kind of tank, except your fuel filter, your primary fuel filter would be directly between the tank and the diff. So kind of a pain in the peanut butter. There we go. A little on the fly adjustments. There is a rubber flex line for the hydraulic brakes on the front left corner of the tank. Just wanna make sure you're not gonna get caught in between it. Let's see where we are. Let me go down just a smidgy widgy. Smidgy widgy. I like the placement. I need to rock. I need to rock. I'm gonna rock this. Oh yeah, baby. I'm gonna go a little bit mo. Cause he doesn't sit in there perpendicular to the flow. Alright, I like that. Now it looks like the gap between the front mount and the rear is the same. Oh, freaking A right we do, bud. 15s coming at you live and in living color. I don't know where we put those other ones. One right here. That was a back one. Where did I put those? Ah, I found it. Right here. Let's get her started. She started. Let's get this one. Oh yeah, coming around the jack, driver's front corner, I'm looking right over the axle. There she is. Last bolt, again, come over the axle. You see it engage, engagement. Okay, let's draw this one up. Okay, I like the way that tightened. I wanna hear a little bit more rat-a-tat-tat. See what I mean? That's the rat-a-tat-tat. Last two in the rear, left side, aft axle. That's the rat-a-tat-tat. Listen to that metal. Here we go. Rat-a-tat-tat, my friends. All right. Tank is in. Let me take the trans jack off of duty because it has served its first purpose. And that was not taking a trans down, but taking a fuel tank down. Get this puppy out of the way. I wanted the same one um, that I had at the institution. This is what I've I've used for over fuck over 18 years, almost 20 years probably. Good piece of equipment. All right, let's lower the truck down. Wow, wow! I just totally screwed that up. Let me get my magneto. Let's 
get back to the task at hand. Oh no! Got it. All right, we'll pop that one down, hit that tab, that one down, hit that tab. Pop, pop. A little snazzy wazzy. There we go. There we go. Can't forget the fuel filler. Let's move this over. That was sitting on top of the tank, y'all. Do you guys remember? All right, here is the fillies. Look at this little filly. How about we do that? There we go, that's good. I'll put this guy on. Let's empty out this tube. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pop this guy on. And that guy. Come on. Sometimes these things can really suck and they can be metal tubes. Oh man. Okay, I can feel the rib. Let's go ahead and put the clamp on. Uh, where's my eight milli? Okay, can we do this one too? Okay. Yep, there's the lip of the tank, so that actually came out farther than the stock one did. Well, maybe a little different, because that fit. Could be the hose, I guess, too. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. I'm going to let him redo that, because maybe I'll do this for the time being. Let me, uh, let me lower this contraption. Last thing, one of the last things we're going to have to do is transfer some fuel. But I want to see what's in that fuel tank. Do I use that fuel, or do I get new fresh fuel? Let's see. We're gonna try, see if I can take this puppy out. Let me see if, I wanna see what's inside the tank. But getting, getting this locking ring off is just gonna absolutely suck, man. Let me get a little screwdriver and pry and pull at the same time. Here we go, here we go. Come on, baby. Let me get a flatter blade. Come on, puppy. There we go. All right. Let's take a gander. Ooh, all I see is rust. Let me look. It's gonna be hard for you guys to really see that. It's super hard. I'd say uh, it's a fuel level of probably a quarter tank. I do see rust in the bottom of the tank, but it could have been debris from me. What do we do? Let's see. See the ceiling? Hmm. Look at the side of it. I just can't, I don't have enough angle to see the side of it. Too small of a hole. Can't see through here. Or what if I put my light, oh, okay, okay. I can't see much more, but I can see the back of the tank. Not really what I want. Yeah, I would say we're gonna have to get some fuel. I'm just not, I don't wanna use that. New tank, this nasty crap. I guess we're gonna have to, uh, what are we gonna do? Guess we're gonna go have to buy a freaking gas can? and put five gallons of diesel in it and uh, call it a day. That's not how I wanted this video to end. 
But I don't feel like messing with that, and it's just going to be making a huge freaking mess. I'll, uh, I'll have to empty that and just get rid of it. But I would highly recommend, if you guys are thinking about doing fuel tanks, to do the SMBs, whether you have the aft axle, if you have a regular pickup truck, 68 gallon for the long beds, 60 gallon for the short beds. I have a 60 gallon on my short bed. Um, I think having 1100 miles to E is uh, cool, but it's not for everybody. If you are gonna pick one, I would definitely choose SMB. Tell me what you think about this video. If you've actually had to do this to your truck, somebody else's truck, or if you work at a dealership, has anybody ever brought you an SMB tank and asked you to install it? I remember I think maybe did probably maybe two, three, maybe three or four, maybe three or four. Um, let me know what your choice was. I appreciate you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll see you guys next time.